What's up, you guys? Today we have a pack with me travel video. Jeremy and I recently went to Paris for five days and four nights, and I just want to show you guys what I brought and how I packed it. So, funny enough, our luggage got lost on the way there, so we didn't get our stuff until like two days in, but I'm still gonna show you guys what we brought. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions on anything shown, everything is mentioned down below in the description box. I also have the blog post at the very top in case you just want to quickly scroll through items. I love you guys. Thank you for spending your time with me today, and on that note, let's get started. All right. So this trip was five days, four nights. The weather was about 40-ish degrees and it was also raining. So it was pretty cold and we decided to do one large checked in bag, which in hindsight was a bad idea because our stuff came late, but that's the risk you always take whenever you're checking in a bag. And we decided to split it half and half and also leave a little residual room because we knew we were gonna do some shopping. Let's start with my side of the suitcase. For my clothes, I brought two thick sweaters, two turtlenecks and two crew neck long sleeve shirts. And then for bottoms, I have a pair of blue straight leg jeans, a pair of skinny dark charcoal black jeans, one pair of trousers and one oversized blazer. I always try to select tops and bottoms that intermix really well so I can maximize the amount of looks. Any of those tops can be paired with any of the bottoms. And then I start with solid basic neutral colors, black, white, creams, tans, the black and white stripe, the pop of the red as a little extra accent if I wanna switch things up and then I can layer those long sleeve tees under the blazer and thick sweaters for optimal warmth. For packing cubes, I whipped out my Away Six Piece Insider Packing Cube Set. This has been my favorite go-to. I have a separate set from Jeremy, and I just find that they're very deep and compress things really well. Another thing I stopped doing for bulkier items, I stopped rolling them. I know that's controversial, but I feel like those bulky sweaters take up more space whenever I roll them, and they're always unraveling, so I personally prefer to keep things folded in a neat stack. Next up, we have socks, a pair of tights, some underwear, an extra bra, and my pajama shirt. And my favorite cube to use is the long rectangular one from the same Away set. I can fit everything in really nice and compact, and it fits perfectly in that little crevice on the side of the suitcase. I packed my makeup in my Stony Clover Small Clear Pouch, one of my absolute favorites for light to medium amount of makeup. And inside this pouch, I packed my Shiseido Foundation, Hourglass Concealer, MAC Studio Fix Powder, Butter Bronzer, a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush, an Hourglass Trio Palette of Finishing Powders, the M Cosmetics Divine Skies Eye Palette, a Mini Morphe Nude Eye Palette, a Benefit Hula Bronzer Mini for contouring, a Beauty Blender with a plastic breathable case, a Mini Size Fenty Beauty Highlight, an M Cosmetics Rose Nude Lip Cream. I love this bag because it has such a small footprint but it fits so many items. I will link a affordable dupe for you guys down below and I also have an assortment of clear cases on the blog in case you guys want to browse some other options. And then for brushes, I like to pack those separately. I have this really affordable standing one from Amazon that I got last year and I still love it and use it. In this, I pack my Pat McGrath eyeliner, Glossier Boy Brow, and my M Cosmetics eyebrow pencil, Urban Decay mascara, and Shu Amura eyelash curler. And then for my brushes, I just revamped my entire collection. I have the Fenty Beauty Cheek Hugging Bronzer Brush, the Hourglass Dual Ended Brushes for my powders, under eye setting, blush, and contour, the best multi-purpose brushes, I love the dual end, a Morphe slanted like kabuki brush for high coverage powder application, a nose contour brush from Luxie. I have three blending and three detail eye brushes from Chico Hodo, Sonia G, and Charlotte Tilbury. I invested in these late last year and whew, the difference. Seriously, the most premium brushes ever used. I'll link everything down below in case you guys wanna check them out. When you open this case, it kind of looks like a triangular shape. They have little elastic bands so you can put all of your brushes in and they're secured on the outer perimeter. And then in the middle, you have some room so that's where I load in the mascara, pencil shaped items, or any tools. Skincare and toiletries. I've been loading everything into this Dagny Dover large size Hunter toiletry bag, pretty much in all my trips at this point. It's my favorite. In goes my toothbrush. I pack my Burst toothbrush. Jeremy and I both love ours. Our teeth have never felt more squeaky clean. I also have the floss, which is also so bomb. It doesn't make your gums hurt and you can actually get refillable floss so you don't need a new plastic case every single time. I then pack this like collapsible cup that I use for rinsing. It's so great, got it at the Japanese dollar store. I 
have a little mini razor and I always pack a mini size of the Dr. Bronner's Castell Soap. For skincare, I have a mix of favorites I use every day and then also just random new samples that I wanna try. I've got always my DHC cleansing oil for taking my makeup off, a nice gentle cleanser and maybe like an exfoliant powder. Then I bring a mini size toner, serum, day cream, night cream, eye cream. I'm really religious about my skincare every day so I like to keep up that routine while I'm traveling. For SPF, I always bring just a full size because I'm using it so much. I have my favorite one from Dermalogica right now. It's an anti-aging moisturizer with SPF 50. I also bring a little mini deodorant. Then I have my favorite hairbrush of all time from E. Diraf. It is a resin hairbrush that's ventilated. It's great to work with wet hair. It detangles and it's so lightweight. It literally feels weightless. Then I've got dry shampoo, backup shampoo and conditioner, some acne treatment dots, and some organic cotton puffs. This toiletry bag is made out of neoprene. It's so bouncy and squishy and just conforms with anything you put in there. And it's just so resilient. I've been so, so happy with it. So I wore my walking white tennis shoes on the plane with me, but I packed an additional pair of shoes, just a pair of black boots. These are just some simple Topshop ones. I packed that into a shoe bag, then threw in two hats. One's like a fisherman style and the other is like a beret. One plain black that goes with everything and one in a fun brown plaid checkish pattern. And I always like to bring a mirror. I have this Fenty Beauty travel mirror that's hexagon. It's so cute, it stands on its own, just in case you don't have a place to do your makeup. Moving on to Jeremy's side, he is such a minimalist. He makes things so easy. He's such, he's an incredible husband. We packed him two Miz and Main shirts. They feel like your favorite t-shirt, but they look like a button down. They're comfy, but look fancy. He has his favorite Everlane crew neck sweatshirt, a Uniqlo Heat Tech ultra warm long sleeve tee, a Lululemon men's Henley t-shirt, a plain white undershirt tee, and then two pairs of jeans. He decided last minute to pack one of these jeans into his backpack on the plane, which was quite the smart move because he has sweat pants on and he was able to change into something a little bit different while we were waiting for our luggage. Just like mine, I packed all his main clothes in the exact same Away Insider Cube set. I was using the sand color and he was using the white color this trip. Then for his undergarments, we have his Bomba socks. He hooked me onto Bombas, you guys. They're like the best socks ever. And they also donate socks to the homeless, which is amazing. And then his favorite underwear is Saks. I literally bought my dad's and my brother all Bombas socks and Saks underwear for Christmas. And they are literally just the best basics that everyone will love and use. I'll link them down below. Jeremy also had one pair of backup shoes. We packed his dress shoes into the same shoe bag, threw them in the suitcase. Then for toiletries, he has been using the e-bag packet flat toiletry bag for years now. He takes on all his business trips. He's a super minimalist, but he actually has been delving into skincare and he shares a lot of my stuff with me. So in his, we have some, the same burst toothbrush, but in matte black, his native deodorant, pharmacy sunscreen, Skin Fix Eczema Cream. We both suffer from eczema, but his gets pretty bad, so I got this for him. I gave him a mini size Tula face cleanser, a mini size of Milk's Vegan Milk Moisturizer, his hairbrush, some hair powder. It even has a hook so you could suspend the bag if you're lacking in countertop space. This toiletry bag really maximizes the surface area that it takes up. It is so thin, and it's just a perfect thing to lay at the bottom or on the top of your suitcase. I had an extra like wool coat that I wanted to bring on the trip. So I folded this up and put on his size since he had a little bit more room. And that pretty much does it for our suitcase. It doesn't look like it on screen, but we definitely had some space left over to pack souvenirs and some extra things into this bag. So we have that large suitcase and then we had two backpacks that we just took with us on the plane. If you guys have been with me for a while, these are my favorite backpacks. You guys know the e-bags TLS Motherload Weekender convertible backpack in junior size. We've had these for years. The gray one is obviously an old one. We've had that from a long time ago. And then the green one is um, a newer model where the tag is less visible. Starting with my backpack, I have a padded laptop sleeve where I slide my 15 inch MacBook Pro into it. It has a top load so that it fits perfectly into the back of the backpack. I can easily take the laptop out without removing the sleeve from the back panel. The back panel of the backpack is padded, but I'm just really 
paranoid, I like to have that extra protection. This backpack is almost like a carry-on luggage backpack hybrid. You could open it fully 360 and load it in like you would a suitcase. They have this little like sweater mesh panel. So I had my big Everlane wool cashmere scarf I wanted to bring since it was cold and that fit perfectly in the secret panel. It was compressed and out of the way and I didn't have to carry it throughout the whole trip. And then now for the parade of pouches where I have all my stuff organized. In one pouch, I like to do like all my wipes. I've got the Purell antibacterial wipes, my favorite Pacifica underarm deodorant wipes for my spicy armpits. And then I also have some feminine wipes that I just recently got that are really great. I also have some natural essential oil hand wipes and then some extra pads, penny liners, any feminine flat things I like to load into my truffle large clarity pouch. I then brought out these colorful plaid, super lightweight mesh pouches that I got off Amazon, super affordable. I use a large one for my laptop charger, mini tripod, cell phone stand attachment, and also my travel converter for the European outlets. This one has a lot of USB ports, which makes it easy. So I just need to bring the cables. I have these super long ones that I got on Amazon that are amazing because you never know where the outlet is. I still like to be able to look at my cell phone from the bed. And then of course, two external battery chargers for our cell phones. Normal I'd be bringing cameras and a lot of equipment, but I wasn't documenting this trip, so I kept it really light. The last pouch is the Everlane Renew catch-all pouch that's made out of recycled plastic bottles, which is incredible. Here is where I put all of like my supplements and health stuff. I've got like vitamin C, hydration multiplier, vitamins, digestion pills, and lactate. I knew I was gonna eat a lot of cheese and dairy on this trip, and I was not holding back. So I brought some backup things so I would have a more enjoyable trip. <laughs> Then I normally put my handbag for the trip into my backpack. I have my Longchamp tote. This is so classy, but it holds so much and it folds down so nicely. And then for my backup shopping bag, the Bagu Travel Cloud Bag is so bomb. It fits so much stuff. It's so durable, incredibly lightweight with an extra pocket. And so I always bring this as a backup. It hides all your bags as you're shopping and it's just so convenient. Shoulder straps, hand straps. I have one for my mom, myself, it is the bomb. My two extra beanies fit perfectly in that last space. I clipped everything up and then onto the front of the bag. I have two journals that I brought, the Lavender Artist of Life notebook and also Amanda Rachel Lee's bullet journal. Incredible creators here on YouTube and I just love and support them so, so much. So uh, Lavender's book helps me with life goals and Amanda's Bujo is for everyday planning. And then for my small size truffle clear case, I have like my liquids. I have my Evian face spray, a Lysol backup antibacterial spray for spraying down surfaces, a Dr. Bronner's hand sanitizer spray for my hands, First Aid Beauty's multi-purpose ultra repair cream, my favorite lip balm with SPF from Jack Black, a natural eye drops for my dry ass eyes, a little Olba's menthol inhaler for when I get nauseous, and then a little roller ball with peppermint halo whenever I get a headache. I know these are crazy pricey, but the truffle clarity cases are my absolute favorites. I actually just brought the last two sizes that I don't have have. The rigidity of the Safiano leather creates such good structure and the clear panel is just so useful. It compresses everything down so nicely and neatly in any bag or handbag you put them in. And then for my favorite pocket in this backpack, it's like this little magic pocket at the top. Anything that you need quick access to, cell phone, keys, hair ties, hair clip, AirPods. I throw all that stuff in there. And then last but not least, I have a little notepad for notes and then a pen for um, any paperwork I need to do. Jeremy's backpack is of course easier than mine. He has his little slim notebook. He's actually using the backpack sling in the back padded area. In the interior of the backpack, I have his peak design everyday sling messenger bag for his daily bag as we were walking around the city. I then have our tech pouch also from peak design. Here we have our Nintendo Switch, our little switch stand for the plane, his cords, any miscellaneous stuff can be organized neatly in this bag. Then his extra pair of jeans that he's so geniusly remembered to put in his backpack so he wasn't wearing sweatpants for three days. Put that in the backpack along with his uh, noise canceling headphones. I seem to have misplaced our RFID individual passport covers um, during the move. So a few hours into this travel belt that's super flat, slim, and RFID blocking, I put all of his little miscellaneous things into his magic pocket. And we also made him the official carrier of the backup snacks. All right, guys, that does it for today's video. Again, everything shown and mentioned is down below in the description box. And I've also got the blog post at the top in case you guys want to browse things easier. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm hoping your day is so good out there. 
care. I love y'all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mwah!